Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Noodle here, and we're back. Back in Test of Acadia, uh, back to work we go. Um, I had a little bit of a cover-up issue here that uh, I had to do with the uh, the Zombles and the Creepas that was all over the place, uh, so we should probably tear this down uh, before it becomes an issue. Alright, so where was I? Uh, we were talking about AIT, we were talking about how I had it easy. Um, many people out there are like, fuck you, Noodle, my AIT was hell. Like, sorry to hear that. Um... But yeah, so I mean, it was it was it was fairly good times all around, uh, as far as my AIT was concerned. I got I got no real complaints about it. Um, but what I will say is that uh, Christmas time came around, and uh, this this is the start of our Christmas story. Now, you're gonna have to know at least a few things about the people that I went to AIT with. Um, for some reason. There were a lot of, like, holy rollers there. Now, I know I say, like, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, my God. Like, I'm not religious. Not that way at all. Um, so, I mean, all that is just, like, fucking talk to me. Look at them fucking creeping in there. Um, but, like, there are some people there who were, like, diehard God worshipers. Like, they were God-fearing men and women who, like, took their shit to the extreme. Um, one of them, when we first met, they, she asked me, uh, if I was a uh, Christian or, or if I was Catholic and I was like uh, no no I'm not sorry and she says oh so what made you fall from grace I was like I didn't I didn't fall from grace I I left grace I mean does that does that even fucking matter like ow ow what the oh shit oh no oh no little baby zombies so fast why are you so fast i need to eat something so bad he snuck up on me i'm gonna eat all this flesh nothing bad can happen from that can it like why would he attack me that doesn't even make sense there's so many like villagers walking around assholes all right so um so yeah it was th that's the kind of like individual that uh i was working with um, <clears throat> anyway, so, um, is that going to be good enough? Mm, 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 I guess. All right, I can go ahead and tear down this, uh, wall here. All right. Um... The wall is actually going to be the halfway point to this, so it should be like that. Uh, actually, no, I'm lying. Um, well, yeah, I'm lying. It should be like this. There we go. That that makes more sense. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we had a lot of holy rollers, uh, on, uh, on our team, and my friend Silver, the one I told you, uh, that dragged my nickname from the depths of Hades, uh, back to AIT with me, um, he was a man who knew everything about nothing. He was, like, the trivia fucking master, swear to gods. So, like... The guy was incredible. He knew everything about everything. So anyway, uh, we are now fast forwarding to Christmas, and uh, Christmas time is happening. And uh, one of the girls who is uh, super religious, um, I was I just happened to be walking by what we call the day room. It's a room that um, hang on, this is gonna fuck with me really bad if I don't get this right. I think that's the way it is. Hang on. I need to go verify with the other one. Okay, so I, I walk into the, the day room, and it's like it's a place where it's it's got like a TV and a VCR, and uh, I know some of you are like, what's a VCR? I knew it. I had to go out one more. And, um, and it was just like it had a pool table. That was like our lounge or our place where we just kind of went to go relax and hang out. Um, so anyway, so she was uh, in there and she was setting up a manger scene. Uh, for those of you non-Christians out there, like, what the fuck's a manger scene? Everybody's seen it. It's that fucking scene where Jesus is being born in the manger and he's surrounded by the three kings. 
Um, and there's like Joseph and Mary and they're all just kind of standing around. There's like animals. It's a Christmas thing. And so um, she was setting up one of those and I, me being the jackass that I am, just walked by and said, um, that offends me, you should take it down. Now, it doesn't offend me. It doesn't. I, I, I found nothing offensive about it. I grew up with that religion, okay? So, I mean, it was just, it was a bad joke on my behalf. I was just kind of just fucking with her at that point. If anybody knows me, you know I just fuck with people. Um, so, to be honest, I was just fucking with her. And I was just going to leave it alone. I expected her to be like, whatever, or laugh, or, or, or just be like, are you serious? But instead, she said something really stupid. And she said... Like, she snapped her head around. I, I remember she snapped her head and she was like, well, if it wasn't for baby Jesus, you wouldn't be having Christmas. All right. So, uh, <laughs> this is where I get to educate a few people. Um, I'm pagan, uh, Wiccan, to be more precise. And while I, I profess my Wiccanness, um, I will say that Wiccans aren't the end-all, see-all. Uh, uh, we adopt a lot of our religion and our stuff from other older religions, and for there being a lack of older religion, uh, I prescribe to uh, being Wiccan. Uh, but that means I also study the fuck out of religions. I do. I love studying religion. Uh, if you guys want a great site to go to, and you're like me and you love studying religion, go to religioustolerance.org amazing just completely as as unbiased as you can get of descriptions of uh different religions and and what they do uh so anyway so there she is uh rubbing jesus in my face and i turned around i was like actually uh no that's a pagan holiday you stole it now i'm getting fucking angry because she wanted to turn around and rub that shit in my face my pet peeve isn't with jesus or the church my pet peeve, if I had one, would be people who don't know their own religion, okay? Now, it's one thing to say Christmas is a Christian holiday. Yes. Yes, it is. I will not argue that. It's another thing to say that it is an originally Christian holiday. It's not. Halloween is not a Christian holiday. St. Patrick's Day is. It is a Christian holiday, but it's not really intended to be. Um, I can get into St. Patrick's Day uh, later on. Um, there's a lot of, of holidays that the Christians, that Christians or the, the church in general, um, claims, but yeah, they, they're not. The, no, they, they don't belong to Christianity. Um, the, they originated from other sources. Um, Christmas and, 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 and Halloween are the big ones. Uh, but like even St. Patrick's Day is rooted in pagan origins. Uh, All Saints Day is rooted in pagan origins. Easter, rooted in pagan origins. And a lot of this realistically had to, and here I am, I'm like lecturing and teaching. A lot of this really had to do with the fact that... Um, the churches uh, back in the day uh, would try to become Mr. Popular. Um, I want you all, everybody here who is listening to me, has heard of the term heathen or uh, pagan, right? Uh, but you don't actually know what those terms mean. You assume that they mean devil worshiper, and a uh, heathen does not mean devil worshiper at all. Uh, what heathen actually stands for is the hethros. Uh, I know some of you are like, what the fuck is a hethro? The hethro is the fields, and uh, like out in the fields. And um, how would I put this? Uh, calling somebody a heathen is like calling somebody a redneck, realistically, or a country bumpkin, or a hillbilly. Uh, that's the, um, the terminology, I guess, that would be used in today's... Uh, languages um the direct translation of what heathen actually means um and back in the day the reason why they were called heathens uh or people who did not worship god 
was known as heathens uh, was because um, they lived out in the hethros. They lived out in the sticks. And you have to remember that back in the day, uh, we didn't have the communication that we had today. Um, communication was very, very slow. And uh, it, it rumors uh, spread by word of mouth. So you told your neighbor, your neighbor would have to tell the next neighbor, so on and so on until everybody heard. Um, this is how actually religions were spread back in the day. Uh, you would start off in a city center, someplace where it's very populated, and you would start spreading your religion. Uh, you would get followers. And those followers, uh, it would be like a ripple that starts, at, and, and or uh, the effect is like a ripple effect. It starts off very small, concentrated, and it quickly spreads out okay, um, to the borders of the town and then trickles out into the countryside. Um, pagan literally means worshippers of the old gods, and what they mean is they literally mean the old gods. Imagine a ripple, if you will, rippling through the water, and it, it hits and it ripples, well, like, let's say it like hits this block and it starts rippling outwards, okay, you can see that, right, the ripple? Now imagine while that ripple is going out, another drop hits and it starts a second ripple, okay? Now, everybody who's in that second ripple is now worshiping the new gods, okay? These are the, the, the new hip religion that just hit the town. The people who are in that first ripple are worshiping the old gods. You see how that's working out? Uh, so, therefore, they are the pagans. They worship the old gods. Um, and it was just, that's, that's all it is. Uh, the problem is, is that some of those old gods or old religions were actually ancient religions, like fucking super old, like super ancient. Um, and so in order to get uh, those people to easily convert to the new religions, i.e. Christianity, um, they adopted their holidays. So Christianity adopted Christmas, which was originally Yule time or the winter solstice. Uh, they adopted Easter, uh, which was the uh, spring equinox. Uh, they did New Year's, they did, uh, like, uh, fucking St. Valentine's Day, like, everything. They fucking stole it. And they didn't just steal it and say, we made, we came up with it. What they said is, see, look, you worship on this day, and this is what you do. You give presents. That's cool. Hey, check it out. We do the same thing. Our religions really aren't that different. You're not worshiping new gods. See, we do the exact same things. You don't have to give up anything. You should just prescribe to our church. And that's how they would get people to change religions back in the day. And that's why Christianity was one of the last big pushes of the big ripples that uh, that took over. Um, and that fought against... Um, that fought against... Um, um, Muslim and Jew uh, Jewish religions as well. Um, and I don't want to say it won over, but it did well enough that... Uh, the Christian church is still alive today. So I, when I pointed out to her, I was like, no, actually, it's a pagan holiday. She said, nah, uh, no, it's not. You're lying. I was going to walk away because I was like, there's no point in arguing with somebody who's that religious or devout. Because no matter what I say, I'm wrong. Um, because their religion and their faith will, you know, um, it will dummy them down to the point where they don't even hear what the fuck I'm saying. That they just won't even acknowledge that history has been written and the church acknowledges these things because their faith is so strong that, that God is the only thing on their side or whatever. So, I find that I don't even argue with these people at all. Um, I, I, I'm i just like, okay, whatever. what You win. But at that exact moment that she said that, uh, my friend Silver walks behind me. The man who knows everything about nothing. He, he walked up behind me and he looked at her and was like, you're fucking stupid. And she was like, what? And he was like, Christmas was founded by the Catholic Church on this such and such date by this such and such pope. And it was stolen from, you know, these people who lived here. And they were thought to believe in old school gods, which which uh, which included, you know, this god here and that god there. Like, he was naming shit. Like, shit that, like, okay, I know the basic histories of, of holidays. I didn't know the extent of the shit this guy knew. And she turned around, threw the manger scene. Like, she fucking threw it. Like, it shattered and broke. And she ran off crying. Her reality was fucking shattered. I felt terrible. But at the same time, eh, the bitch kind of deserves it. 
she was being really fucking uppity. Um, so, so there we go. Noodle's a bastard. He likes making girls cry. Um, it's not my proudest moment. Uh, it's definitely not my worst moment ever. Uh, but that's something that had happened during AIT. And, um, it just, I don't know, man. It was just really funny the way it worked out. Um, other people heard about it and they were like, wow, you guys are really fucked up. And it's like, no, we're not fucked up. Like, I wouldn't have said anything. I, I even joked with her. Like, I was like, oh, that offends me. And I smiled and I laughed. And I was like, I'm just kidding. And then that's when she was like, oh, well, actually, uh, Noodle, uh, you know, if if it wasn't for Jesus, uh, you wouldn't have Christmas. So, yeah, be appreciative. So I was like, oh, okay. You want to play this game? Let's play the Who Knows More History game. Um, and that would be me. So I won. And uh, she ran away crying, and it was a great day uh, for me. Um, other than that, that was a really long time to explain uh, how I made a girl cry. Um, and some of you out there are like, wow, dude, that's really fucked up. Nah, whatever, dude. Like, I, I never I never bash anybody's religion uh, out of because I'm an asshole. Um, I, will, I, I don't bash religion. Uh, I'm not saying any religion's wrong or right. Uh, what I am saying is how you carry yourself. You, you, you got what I need. Sorry. I can't, every time I say you, I have to say that. Um, you, you, you listening to me, if you prescribe to a faith and you believe in it, well, guess what? You are a representative of that faith. And if you don't know your faith, maybe you shouldn't be opening your mouth as much as you do. Um, and I find that a lot of people do that. They're, um, they, those are the people who wield religion like a weapon. And you often find those people who are the front of anti-gay groups, the people who like have the signs and they're like, it says in the Bible that no man shall lay with another man. But then when you really go question them, you realize that that's the only part of the Bible that they know. What they don't know is that the passage right next to it says that you can sell your daughters into slavery or that if you ever eat shellfish on a Friday, you will be burned in hell for all eternity. Uh, those people tend to forget uh, that those passages exist, and they tend to only pick and choose what they know. And unfortunately, what they know is very limited. Ooh. Um, so, I mean, if you're going to be you know, preachy about your religion, then God damn it, you better fucking know something about it. And, uh, uh, un unfortunately a lot of people don't know about even their own religion. Um, I'm not saying I am the most fucking well-versed motherfucker in the world. And I'm not saying that I'm the role model that you should be looking after, nor am I saying that my religion is the best religion. I'm saying that my religion is the best religion for me. And that's pretty much all you can really get into. Um, I've never been one for somebody who has to convert others uh, to their religion. Because if you have to force me to be part of your religion, then your religion must not be all that great for me to make that decision on my own. Um, but, I mean, hey, you know what? That's to each his own. If you feel like that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. Um, but I know that my religion is great for me. Um, I don't push it on anybody else. Uh, my kids will grow up in a very tolerant home uh, where... Yeah, sure, they'll grow up with my traditions and my faith, but as soon as they turn 18, I fully expect them to go on a religious trip on their own to choose for themselves. And if they come home, my daughter's like, I'm going to be a Satanist. Well, then you better fucking learn what a Satanist really is. Like, my other son comes home, and he's like, I want to be Buddhist. Well, then you better fucking really find out what a Buddhist actually does. Um, and if they do and they want to continue those things, then by all means, they can do whatever they want. And by the way, for those of you out there, Satanists are not what they appear. They don't worship Satan. Anybody who worships Satan is fucking stupid. Why would you worship an entity of evil that only wants to hurt and do malevolence to you? Um, that's dumb. <laughs> um, that's not actually what they do. They just follow the philosophies of Lucifer when he, um, when he descended from heaven, uh, meaning that uh, he has his own uh, – they have their own um, commandments and stuff like that. And – um, they're very, it's actually a pretty cool religion to study. Um, they don't worship the devil, but they worship the ideology of Lucifer. And if you actually know what Lucifer really did, um, I mean, even the mild mannered Christian can at least, uh, feel a little bit of wow. When you think about that kind of, um, that kind of mentality that it took to do what he did. Um, but I think that's about it. I rambled enough. I talked about religion. I talked about um, 
manger scenes being broken. And for the record, I felt terrible that uh, she ran off like that because that was not my intention to make her cry. And uh, for if any of you want uh, nice huggies and feelings, um, I I felt bad uh, for crushing basically everything that she thought was true. And um, I, I picked up the major scene and I fixed it. And uh, I put it up myself. Um, because it started out as a joke and it quickly got out of hand. And she actually really realistically began questioning her own faith at that point. Um, she felt that what she knew to be true turned out to be a lie. And um, I know what that's like. And so I felt bad. So I fixed her major scene. And we had a really big talking to. And I kind of told her... Uh, in a much nicer way uh, with the same thing I told you and that is um, you know to each your own and uh, that you should just be well informed before you you make any kind of jump decisions and I think I want to think that she became a stronger Christian because of it she actually began reading the Bible and she actually began understanding that you know some things shouldn't be taken literally and that some things should be taken as a story or a tale um, and whatnot. So, anyway, uh, enough with the serious talk. Uh, when we come back, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and uh, finish this tower. Look, we're almost done. I think we can go ahead and finish in the next uh, video. We're going to put in some windows. I'm going to have to find some more sand so we can make some more glass. Uh, I remember there's a lake around here somewhere. I think it's that way. Um, so, we, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, I still need to go ahead and put in the rafters off to the side. I need to go ahead and get an iron door. But before we do any of that... Uh, we are going to have to go down into the mine and go get more stone because I am out and we need more uh, regular stone. We need more cobblestone. We're going to need more charcoal and more iron, etc. We're going to need just a few more resources. So uh, when we come back, we're going to go hit up the mines. We're going to do that. And then once we get what we what we get, I mean, it should be maybe two more episodes and we'll finish off that guard tower and we can start working on the farms. Oh, finally. So thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for, uh, for doing what you do. Um, once again, we don't beg for likes or subscribes or anything like that, but uh, I do appreciate anybody who does leave comments below. Like I always say, I might not respond to them, but I do read every one of them. Uh, so thank you very much, and I uh, will catch you all on the next video. Peace out.